the 11 mm-hmm. seed playing Nevada. Also a really nice story, the 7 seed. Um, man, the South just got banged up with you know UVA and Cincy and Tennessee and Arizona going out. But um, what are your thoughts on this? Lo- Loyola Chicago's got two really good guards, but they don't score a bunch of points. They, they kind of play a little slow down. Nevada might want to push with the Twins. What do you think about this matchup? Yeah, you know, I, I love Nevada. Um, and I, I did, Which one of you guys had Nevada and Loyola in this game? <laughs> Nobody. No. Nobody on the planet. I didn't. No way. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, but Nevada has, you know, has gone to, they've got a bunch of transfers. They play kind of a positionless game. I think everybody in that lineup is 6'7", with the exception of one guard, who's 6'3". They were down, I think, I think I have this right, 14 against Texas in the first round and 22 um, in the second round and still came back to win. Remarkable stories. I just feel like you've got to ride that hot horse. Not that Loyola's not hot. But uh, Nevada's played a little different level. Um, this is an interesting game, and it's—it's. It's, I was kind of intrigued to see that this is this is the early game that that's been being picked up by CBS. Hmm. It's not the TNT game, so um, I like that. I like these two teams getting, you know, the the run on the big network, um, and I, I think it'll be an exciting game. Yeah. So, so you like Nevada there? All right. Second game, Atlanta is. Kentucky, Kansas State. Kansas State probably, I think they might get their best player back, Dean Wade. Dean uh, Wade. Yeah. Yes. Averages about 17 yeah, a green, game. Green means three. go for Kentucky, man. I mean, this is <clears throat> Cal, Cal had bitched about being sent to Boise. Well, I mean, it, it might have been tough to get the fan base out to Boise. But they're loading up the pickup trucks right now to go to Atlanta. And it's, <laughs> these are home games, home games for them. Yeah. So you like Kentucky there. They're going to. Yeah, they're going to roll. All right, so you like Kentucky, Nevada. All right, so in the West, Florida State's playing Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga probably has too much offense, but, um, you know, who knows? Florida State, they, has, they have athletes. And then Michigan uh, A&M, who do you like in those games? I like, uh, I like A&M. I think it's a bad um, Florida State. I'm going to tell you a sentence I never thought would come out of my mouth. I thought Leonard Hamilton outcoached uh, Chris Mack and Xavier in the last game. You know, you know they're going to compete, but I, I agree with you. Just a little too much offense, and Gonzaga now his these guys are you know, they broken through. I think as a oh, program, yeah. oh, and uh, I like them. Mm-hmm. All right, so Gonzaga, A and M, there. Other side, Midwest, Kansas, Clemson, Duke, Syracuse. Duke's going to face the the zone, but Duke's been playing against they the zone in practice, before. and they beat them by sixteen. Yeah. When they played that, earlier. I, I think Syracuse is spent. I mean, they, they've been playing with a chip on their shoulder. They had a cause because they were the last team into the tournament. and well, I had to play in the playing game, blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, they um, – and, you know, to their credit, I thought Bayheim was just outstanding against Michigan State. I thought he won the game as much as, uh, you know, as much as his players did. Kept the pace right where they wanted it. Really frustrated Michigan State, um, but I think Duke Duke's got just an just an incredible amount of talent. I think they got more talent than anybody left in the tournament, and uh, they're a problem. And Kansas is playing Clemson. I think that game is in Omaha. Yes, and it's not a, you know he, it's it's kind of a de facto home game for those guys too. I, I would think Kansas is in great shape, especially with a big guy now back in the fold mm-hmm. uh, as a, as a bouquet is. Is a handful, and he looks to be healthy. We got, I think he played 22 or 23 minutes last game. He's a problem. And then in the East, you've got uh, four of the top five still available. You got Villanova, you got West Virginia, you got Texas Tech and Purdue. I'm not sure if Haas is going to be back for this Texas Tech game with his elbow. Didn't they have to construct a special brace? Yeah, yeah he's probably not going to be the same. Yeah. Um, I what do you like? I don't think there's any chance. I don't think there's any chance. And these are, these are the two best games on the board for my money. I, I would. I would pay your money, Jason, to watch to be there in person for West Virginia Villanova. I think it'd be fantastic. Um, Villanova, I think, ends up prevailing in that. Just a, too many shooters. I think they they also benefit. You think about this too. Villanova has three or four days to prepare for West Virginia. If they had beaten somebody on Thursday and have to prepare for West Virginia on the Saturday, where you only have one day to prepare, a little different. That's when you have a problem. Yeah. That's the problem. But uh, Jay Wright will coach him up. I think they're good enough. Purdue probably doesn't have enough with Haas inside to uh, to beat Texas Tech. But they've got four seniors on the perimeter. You know, four good players. They'll they'll compete. They're just going to have to make a 
boatload of threes to win that game, I think. All right, so coaches Elite Eight, Villanova, Texas Tech, Kansas, Duke, and on the other side, he's like A&M, the Zags, Nevada, and Kentucky. There you go. 